I'm very happy to say I have the king of Cajun music, Mr. Jimmy C. Newman, on the show. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, Herb, and a big E. Yeah. <laughs> you and all your many viewers and yeah. listeners. You perform a unique form of music still in existence today. It's called Cajun music. Tell us some history about Cajun music and the people that are responsible for the, creating the sound. Well, you know, the word Cajun itself comes from Acadian, and we're descendants of the Acadian of Acadia of Nova Scotia. That's why they call us. And of course, all Cajuns like to take shortcuts with words, and so we call ourselves Cajun rather than Acadian. Acadian. So uh, we brought down, or we kept with us in South Louisiana, where the Cajuns migrated all the way from Nova Scotia, Canada. We kept our, our uh, culture of. Uh, the Cajun French language, mm -hmm. the Cajun cooking, and the Cajun uh, uh, way of music, Cajun way of life, which includes the music and the, the language and everything, you know. So the music is very much a part of our Cajun culture. How long have the Cajuns, the Arcadians, been in South Louisiana? What, how, how did they get there? Uh, well, Justin Wilson, a humorist friend of mine that you might sometimes see on television here, he says that uh, over 200 years ago, the Cajuns were exiled out of Canada because they wouldn't uh, swear by the King of England, they'd only swear at him. So uh -oh. that's how long <laughs> it's been since uh, we're, we've been down, our people have been down in South Louisiana. You're 100% Cajun? Not really. I'm mixed uh, breed. Uh, actually, I'm uh, French, Cajun French. Spanish, Indian, German, and Irish. Oh. Sort of a Heinz 57 of Cajun. <laughs> but you're actually a native of Big Mamo. That's right. I was born with uh, and raised with the culture, speaking the, the language, and of course, uh, it's a way of life, you know, speak, uh, uh, speaking Cajun French and, and music and everything. You're fluent in, in French. I, well, in Cajun French, yeah, and, and real French, it's a, a slang from the real French. Oh, is it? And of course, I get by well all over the 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 uh, the, uh, uh, the nation, uh, the country, uh, whether it be Europe or wherever, in, in French, because my father was a, a very well educated French. Uh, uh, well, he was an educated man in French, is how it was. So, so I learned I learned the language quite well at home. At home, yes. And of course, we all spoke spoke it, and all the Cajun when they were young or kids in South Louisiana, and they and a few days and a, and many years ago spoke French, most all. You didn't start out singing Cajun though in 1946 when well, you I was started. 46, I did my first French, Cajun French record in 1947. It was we traveled to. I started playing with this band and we traveled to uh, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, and did Grand Texas, which is a very close melody to Jambalaya, which was way before Jambalaya. And I did, I sang on the other side of the record, we did two side of record, naturally, but uh, I sang on one side. In those days, you'd, the artist, uh, like if a guy had a band, the, maybe two guys, vocalists on the band would, would uh, sing on one side of the record, and I did the, the French waltz, Chat Petit. And then uh, later, when I formed my own group and try to, trying to get to Nashville, which I had that in mind the sure. whole time, I wrote Cry Cry Darling and, and, yep. uh, it, and, and, and other tunes and it helped me come to, well first the Louisiana Hayride and then but, in Shreveport and then uh, Randall Opry. But you sang country a lot. I sang country, here's how I did it, I sang country and Cajun, but mostly uh, country. Country, exactly. I, uh, and after all the years where, you know, at one time or another when you've been in the business a long time, you have to you have to look for different things. Well, I had this as ace in the hole, so I, I changed it from uh, the part uh, Cajun uh, to more Cajun and less and, and a little bit of country. How about your video with Sylvie? Uh huh. Well, this came about because I had done this album that I'm, I mentioned, Louisiana Love, is the name, uh, for Playback Records and. Uh, uh, Sylvia is a little lady from England, very talented little lady, and uh, so she did an album called Sylvia and Friends, which included myself, Charlie Lubin, Tommy Cash, and some others. And so when they asked me to do a song with her, I said, yeah, let's do Jambalaya, it'd be good. So that's how that came about, we did the album. Then it came off so good, they decided to do a, a, a video. Where was the video shot? Uh, in a restaurant there in Nashville. Cajun uh, Filet is the name of the restaurant. Did you really give your dolly a spot on the Opry? You know, this is something that she mentions in a lot of her publicity, mentioned even in an RCA album of a life story of, 
And uh, she mentions this, and I still don't remember it, but she claims I did. So I read in a magazine, or a book, on the, on the history of the Grand Ole Opry, yeah. so there you gave your spot. Yeah, that's what she claims, so I sure won't deny it. I'll okay. tell you, she must have looked a lot different than now, though. She was like 12 or 13 well, or 14 uh, years old. <laughs> <laughs> and 59. I, I would have remembered if it had been the Dolly of today. Uh, I yes, think. a lot of people, no, you don't forget Dolly today. <laughs> 1959. A lovely work of art was another big hit for you, wasn't it? It was, it was not a, uh, well, I appreciate you saying that. I shouldn't say it wasn't a big hit, but it wasn't, a fall, it wasn't like a fallen star, but it was by the same writer, and it's the type of tune that I like to sing, a pretty ballad. Yeah. It's all country songs, but mm -hmm. when you sing Cajun, you go bilingual? You're a lot of times, yeah. And this new uh, Rounder album, I have eight cuts, though, that are all in French. All French, straightaway French. No, no Cajun French, yeah. Jimmy C. Newman in Cajun Country. Describe the sound of your band now. Okay, uh, the main instruments uh, we kept, we sort of spotlight is a Cajun accordion, Bessel right. Duyon from Lafayette, Louisiana, who, <coughs> excuse me, came to the Grand Ole Opry uh, when he joined us uh, back uh, almost 15 years ago from Lafayette, Louisiana. The first Cajun accordion on the Grand Ole Opry stage. And then uh, Rufus uh, Thibodeau, who's one of the legendary Cajun fiddlers out of South Louisiana. He came with me to the opera back in those days you were talking about. He and I and George came over. And, uh, of course, then, with, and I sang the Cajun news song. So, uh, with that, and I call my group Cajun Country, then yes. I, what I usually do is add uh, good country musicians, and because uh, they're mostly playing rhythm while we're playing, doing the Cajun melody of vocal. So that, that's, uh, that's our band, Cajun Country. Well, Jimmy, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. I certainly appreciate it. Oh, Herb, thank you for having me. And, uh, and keep that Cajun uh, sound going. I love well, it. Thank you. I, uh, I wouldn't quit anyhow, but I don't have a, a lot of choice. I couldn't go back to singing this country. There, there are too many good new country singers. This is Herb Sudson. I want to thank you for watching. Remember, keep it Sudson country and keep it always country music.